Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at troubleshooting an API levels issue. So if you finally finish building your game and you're ready to upload it to the Android Play Store, you've gone through the whole phase of setting everything up and you've uploaded your file and it's told you that the API level you have is too low and it must be a bit higher. Now, what you can do inside of Unity is you can go into your build settings and you may have already tried this, go to your player settings and in here where it says minimum API level, let's just try and make that 30 like it asks for. And now I can close that down and go to build and I can try build my project again. But this time, I'm just gonna name that one V2. When I attempt to load it, it's telling me that I need API level 30 because I clearly don't have it at the moment. That's fine, so I'm just gonna update Android SDK. And when I get here, it throws me an error saying that it couldn't do it. Now, there are two ways that you can deal with this problem. The first is by using something known as a key tool. That revolves around you going through a lot of CMD prompts, and it's a little more confusing if you've never used it before. But there's a much simpler way, and that is to use the Android Developer Studio. Now, if you've never used the Android Studio before, you can grab it for free online. Just search Android Studio, and the first link that comes up is the download link. Inside of here, you're pretty much gonna be just clicking download Android Studio, it'll take you through some terms and conditions and then it'll download it. The developer studio is an ID and I've already got it on my machine so I'm just gonna open it up here. But we're not actually really using it for anything, we're just gonna be using it to grab the API level that we wish to have. If you haven't downloaded this before, it might take you through a wizard where it says it can't find an SDK version. And if it does that, that's great. It's probably just gonna recommend to give you the most up-to-date version. But if it finds one and it's not the version that you want, you can go into these three dots here go to SDK manager and we want to make a note of the file path that's here as well as the version that we want to get. So you can see here this is the API level. It wanted me to grab 30 but I might just grab 31, uh, make it simple. And you can see I already had 27 so it allowed me to build inside of Unity because it said well I do have an API level but it's just not high enough. So we're going to grab 31 and I might grab 30 as well and just hit apply. Now this is going to go through the process of downloading it all and then storing it inside of that location. So I will be back when this one finishes. Okay, so now that that's finished, you can see I've got 31 and 30 installed as well as 27. I'm just gonna copy this path that I've got here, open up a file explorer and paste it in. And then once I'm inside of this SDK folder, I'm gonna be going to platforms and I can see here I've got 31, 30 and 27, which are the three that I have installed currently. Now Unity's not gonna know that on its own, Instead, what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to go to edit preferences and then external tools. And then inside of external tools, I've got this Android SDK tools installed with Unity. We're gonna copy this path here. We're gonna open a brand new file explorer and paste that in there. Again, I'm gonna be jumping into platforms and you can see here that Unity only knows about version 27. So I can grab my other folder here and I can just take these two. I'll copy them and I'll paste them across. Now there is an argument that could be made for should we just point it to this Android SDK platforms folder? I kind of like to have Unity use what it believes it should be using as a folder structure. It's just a bit easier. I found the more I deviate and create my own custom things inside of Unity, it starts playing a little less uh, nicely together. So this little bit of copying over is just a, a way to keep things nice and smooth. Okay, so now that that one's finished copying across, I'm gonna jump back into my build settings and just show you that in here, you can see that I've set my minimum level to be 30. This could really be set to anything now because this target level API is always gonna be trying to use the highest version. And because we have 31 installed now, it's gonna be trying to build with version 31. So I'm gonna rebuild my project and re-upload it again. So we're just gonna call this V2 and then we're gonna upload it to the Play Store again. Now, as you can see, version two has now been uploaded and it's uploaded with 30 plus API level. The target SDK is 31 because that was our highest API level. And you're good to then proceed with your release. If you have any questions on this one or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section or join our Discord server. It's very early days, but I'm very, very active on here. You can ask about any of the tutorial series we do. You can promote your own work. You can ask for coding help or anything. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. As always, I just want to take the chance to thank Flubase Fafi for the support over on Patreon. If you'd like to do the same, Patreon slash Flavane. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.